for your transgression. Big Brother hereby issues you a serious warning and a punishment. Hey, we all die. I was ready for this. Yeah? Chi Chi, uh -uh. you have 10 seconds. Okay, I listen. Uh -uh. Big Brother. Uh -uh. Mm. Woo! Okay! Tonight was a lot for Gloria Elijah to take in. Yeah, I mean there was the Head of House Challenge, there was the live nomination process, the first collective live nomination process, and then there was Big Brother's, um, should I say, addressing of the whole Chi Chi and Diana's fight situation that happened in the early hours of this morning. Now guys, I don't know how I feel, to be very frank with you. I don't know how I feel. My emotions are all over the place and so I will not be addressing in details that particular judgment as meted out by Big Brother. But what I'm going to do is, I just want to throw the question to you all. Um, what do you guys think about Biggie's judgment? Oh by the way, Biggie did not issue any strike to Chi Chi. Nah, he did not. Instead, he had issued her a serious warning and a punishment that will be revealed to her tomorrow. So ladies and gentlemen, I have a lot to say, but I'm not going to say anything else on this video because I want to focus on the Head of House Challenge and the live nomination process. So I leave the question to you all. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Big Brother was lenient enough or do you think Big Brother kind of favored Chi Chi? over beauty because at this point in time guys i mean <laughs> if you compare beauty's first strike and what chi chi did last night i think there's actually a lot to talk about right so just go ahead and let me know your thoughts about that one as we move on to other matters that should be discussed on this video i'm not even gonna lie i'm really pissed at big brother i mean biggie come closer let me let me ask you something why the hell would you pull off such a stunt Putting up all the housemates up for eviction this week, knowing fully well that it is a fake nomination week. I mean, what's the point? What exactly is the point? Guys, I'm so pained though. Hey, I'm not even gonna lie. I am so pained because if this system had probably happened maybe last week or maybe it will eventually happen, then I will really appreciate it more. But then I understand that people that just wants to tension all the housemates, he just wants to, you know, create some drama in the house. I get it. But Big Brother, come on, come on. This is a fake nomination week. You know, gel, you know, gel. Man, if you think about it from another angle, I think to Tonight's live nomination process was quite insightful. Yes, I mean, from season to season, we've seen how this process in particular allows us into the minds of the housemates. Yes, I mean, it is from such a process that we get to now find out those ones who are truly beefing their fellow housemates, those ones that truly see their fellow housemates or specifically one or two other housemates as a true competitor, you know, to them. So guys, tonight's live nomination process was quite insightful. As I said, I really enjoyed it. There were some very interesting moments, not really shocking, yeah, but very interesting moments and I cannot wait to share all of them with you. But before I go into the live nomination process, I just want to extend a hearty, hearty congratulations to Chumsy. Guys, Chumsy is officially the first head of house, male, female, yeah. The first head of house since the show itself resets to its original status quo. Huge congratulations to Chomzi as she emerged the first head of house, both male, female, yeah. But the first head of house, you know, since Big Brother reset the game. Guys, I was so super excited for Chomzi. I was seriously rooting for Chomzi, to be very honest. And she had gone head on with Bella. And I was kind of a bit, you know, biased, yes, because of all the drama, all the scandalous gossip, the way she was actually betrayed by her friends, Bella and Chi Chi and Shex, guys. I just really wanted her to just win, yeah, so that she could just take a breather away from them. And then the good news is, um, winning the Head of House title tonight also came with not only immunity for her, it also came with immunity for Elo Swags, whom she had chosen as her partner to share the Head of House bedroom. So apparently, there's a Head of House bedroom and speaking about the bedroom guys we're very honest i'm not impressed <laughs> i'm not impressed at all like i saw that bedroom and i'm like what, what is this what is this 
I mean, in my opinion, my frank opinion, no, I just felt like that is like the worst head of house bedroom ever in the history of Big Brother. No caps. But then it's all good. I mean, it's space for her to have her own private time, her um, alone time. And this privilege is that she won, you know, together with the head of house tied to. It, it did not come any better time, right, than now. I mean, she really needs the space now, away from all the toxicity. And it's not like um, Chelsea is actually innocent, to be very honest. Yes, she's not. But then people who are the villains, they have their times when they are good and their times when they are bad. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory, and I am the girl with the tea. So if you're new on here, kindly go ahead and do exactly what you see on your screen, as this is one of the most fastest one of the easiest ways to become a part of this family and to always be able to receive a lot of my videos whenever i upload a new one now let's quickly get into the video so we had diana who had gone into the diary room first and she had nominated chi chi and shags we had rachel who had nominated doing and shags we had um chi chi <laughs> guys before i even talk about chi chi's nominations what was all of that dramatics that chi chi was doing what was that I mean, Chichi came into the diary room. No, before she even entered the diary room, well, let's start from the garden. She was already forming. Me, brother, I'm not ready. <laughs> and then when she entered the diary room, she started forming Nollywood. <laughs> Me, brother. <laughs> I mean, guys, it was so irritatingly fake. It was so fake. I was so pissed. Like, I say, eh? If it was possible to carry your slippers and throw it inside your TV so that it will hit the person you want to hit, oh God, I would have carried my six inches heels and threw it at Chichi. It was so ridiculously annoying and irritating. It wasn't even funny at all. She was just being unnecessarily dramatic and I could just imagine the look on Biggie's face while she was doing all of that nonsense. It was so irritating that she was acting as though... She didn't know who to nominate. She was acting as though she didn't know what to say, blah, blah, blah. And then before Big Brother could even say Jack Robinson, she had blurted out. Let me even see who she even nominated. I listen to Nade Kunle. I said, look at this one. I bet she get out of my screen, Joe. Guys, it was so annoying. Please just go ahead and let me know how you felt at the point when Chichi was displaying all of that drama. Just let me know how you felt in the comment section below. We had Brian. Brian nominated Chichi and Ade Kunle. Um, Doni nominated Hermes and Rachel. Um, Ella Swan nominated Doi and Amaka. Hmm, I wonder why he nominated Amaka. Um, Groovy nominated Adekule and Doi. Daniela nominated Chichi and Hermes. Um, Amaka nominated Adekule and Chichi. Um, Fina nominated Adekule and Hermes. Yes, I understood why she nominated those people. I mean, they are a force to reckon with. And then um, Anson nominated Chichi and Rachel. Um, Adekule nominated Shex and Bella. That one was very, very predictable. <laughs> I saw that coming. Um, Bella nominated Hermes and Amaka. So initially, initially she mentioned Adekule's name and then she took permission from Big Brother and cancelled it. And then she mentioned Amaka's name. And I knew that she mentioned Amaka because of the scandalous gossip, you know, that happened this morning. Anyways, Hermes nominated Chichi and Doin. <laughs> Um, Shags nominated Adekule and Rachel. Guys, I mean, it was just as mutual as how Adekule nominated Shags and Bella. I knew that there was always going to be a comeback from Shags as well, and he did not disappoint. And Giddy Fire nominated Doi and Chichi. Um, Deji nominated Diana and Doi. <laughs> Modella nominated Hermes and Amaka. Anyways, I was wondering why Modella would go ahead and nominate someone in her level, but then I remember that, okay, she's a fake housemate, so there's no big deal to it anyways. And even though it was a real nomination, I don't think her vote or her nomination would have actually counted. Uh, moving on, um, Cheesy nominated Shanks and Bella. That one, I saw it coming. Cheesy is pretty much irritated with whatever is going on between Shanks and Bella, so I just knew that if opportunity presented itself, he would try to scatter whatever they had. Um, and then Dotu nominated Adekunle and Rachel, which is quite surprising that he nominated Adekunle because I was wondering, like, okay, is this guy buying beef from Shags and Bella, whom he calls his friends? Because if I can recall, Dotu became friends with Adekunle first before he became friends with Shags and Bella. So I was wondering where the beef was coming from. But anyways, last but not the least, Chomzi nominated Giddy Fire and Amaka, which is quite 
interesting again. I was wondering how, why, you know, what's going on? Is it because of um, Diana that you nominated those two people because she felt like maybe they offended her friend Diana? Guys, honestly, I don't know. At the end of the nomination process, I did my calculations and it turns out that Chichi got nominated seven times. <laughs> seven times! Um, another person that got nominated seven times was Adekunle and then we had Joey who got six nominations. We had Hermes who got five nominations, um, Shex got four nominations, um, Rachel got four nominations and Amaka got four nominations. And the good thing is that this is actually a fake nomination process but if it were to be real, these housemates that I tabulated that got the highest nominations would automatically be up for possible eviction this week, right? But then Ibuka had announced that there would be no voting. But then Big Brother had decided to change everything, right? And, you know, created his own little pre predictable twist, which is why I was ranting at the start of this video. And Big Brother had created an excuse, right? That for the sake of the fact that the housemates are always dragging their feet whenever they are summoned, you know, by Big Brother, then automatically, except for the head of house and Elo Swags, whom she had chosen and who had also gained automatic immunity, everybody, all the level up housemates except those two, were up for nomination for possible eviction this week. Briefly, guys, talking about the housemates that were actually nominated, I kind of understood why Adekunle was nominated a lot, yes. I mean, I feel like people see him as a, a competition. Yeah, I mean, the guy is very, very intelligent. Whenever they're having tasks, you know, he wins a lot. He wins a lot and he does great. He's highly intelligent. Comes to when it comes to the head of house challenge as well. He really brings his best foot forward. So he's a very, very strong contender. But then for Joey, I was not really sure why her own level people, especially, were really nominating her. I was wondering like ah, who did doing um, offense like this, guys. To be very honest, I've been watching the show and I know for a fact that the people that really does have issues with doing are um what's his name now um there's Elo Swags, there's shags there's bella i think there's also chichi in the picture those four people but besides those four people i'm wondering like okay these are people what's going on but anyways guys this is where i'm going to go ahead and end this particular episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah just go ahead and let me know your thoughts about the entire live nomination process about the head of our bedroom and about biggest twist <laughs> Are you disappointed or not? Would you love to see Big Brother, you know, replay the same twist again come next week? Just go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing evening.